guys. It's Michael again with Pocket. Now I'm here with other, another Michael from uh, from Huawei, who's going to show us not any new hardware. This is still the Ascend P1, but it is running Huawei's new user interface layer called the Imagine UI. Michael, if you wouldn't mind, just take us for a quick uh, run around the software. Yeah, this is called the Emotion UI. It's a new thing we invented to make it simple for the end user. So, as you can see, you have different home screens as well as a standard Android, for example. Mm -hmm. But you also see that here is an icon missing, the app launch symbol. Uh, we did a lot of research uh, in the US, in Europe, and a lot of people coming from non-smartphones just were confused uh, on the Android experience because it's some kind of bit techy. Sure. And so we just thought about, okay, let's erase the home screen button to erase the app launcher and make it very easy for the end customer to have his folders. For example, you can easily have it here and push it to the next folder like this. Sure. Somehow. They switch. There we go. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> and you could just name the folders like games. So it's taking that initial, the existing folder functionality in Ice Cream Sandwich and making it a little bit simpler? Yeah. And what we also have is a uh, thing, it's called the help center. So whenever you do actions which you didn't do before, like switching to the home screens, uh, they will display the first time you're using it. Uh, it's like a tutorial? Yeah, it's like a tutorial and you also can access it afterwards. So if you've just forgot about the basic things, just go to basic and then they show you the gestures. Touch and hold, hold as it were. Explained. Yeah. Sure. And you can easily pinch in and out. And and can you get to the app launcher itself? Like, is it possible for a user to to, to get to the app launcher in the new UI? Or not exactly like this. So we have here the menu, and if you want to add widgets or things to the screen, um, to a folder, for example, you can easily hit the plus button here, ah. and you can have the application which you want to include. For example, the clock symbol there. Press OK, and now the clock symbol is there as well in the folder. Very interesting. Otherwise, you can just have it on your home screens, and you can easily you can negotiate them that way. Is there a uh, that is, is, is Huawei planning on putting this UI on all of their devices going forward, or just the P line? Or that's a good question. Uh, we're just about to launch it as a beta test for the P1. Okay. Then we start a forums. Uh, <laughs> contact to the end user mm -hmm. just to get to know what they're thinking about this and if it's well perceived we could definitely imagine to roll it to the G series to the Y series as well and also to the tablets but we'll have to see yeah we will have forward. to see of course okay. <laughs> so it's up to the end customer we did this for the end customer so he can tell us yes we want it or no better stick with vanilla Android or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, it. Michael, thank you very much. You're welcome. I appreciate it. This has been Michael with Huawei and Michael with Pocket Now checking out the new Imagine UI on uh, the Huawei hardware here at IFA in Berlin. Stay tuned for a lot more. Thanks for watching. All right.